this poem is called Magazine. You pick up that magazine. Ladies, guess what? You can lose 20 pounds in 20 days. You read the headline, pulling your lips into tight lines. You've been told since you were a tween that you should drop, drop some, some weight. weight. Somewhere along the way, you accepted it. You carefully glance over the 20-day diet plan that's changed lives. It involves lots of boring, bland, plain, and gross foods. It involves cutting out meals. It involves cutting out your happiness and sacrificing your sanity. You read the page top to bottom. Not once is this diet described as healthy. You think to yourself, is, is it, it worth, worth it? it? You flip through a couple of pages, your eyes scanning the articles and photos, and you can't help but notice that what you see when you look in a mirror isn't a reflection of the images found in magazines. The ones of airbrush models, not a single hair out of place. Standing confidently on a beach in a bikini, unafraid to be seen, because little do you know that with the help of digital technology, countless hours of editing, I was just standing in uncomfortable positions to get that perfect, perfect shot. shot. Those photos are beauty only a computer can achieve. Flipping, Flipping the page places more propaganda under your nose. Before and after photos of women who have worked hard to achieve the bodies they have now. They worked out every day for unreasonable amounts of time. They sacrificed their social lives for these very photos. They forced vegetables down their throats by the spoonful. Of course, the magazine describes their journeys as beautiful, I think liberating. Glory. You wonder, are they happier now? You flip the page and question what insane article lies on the next side. The, the bold, bold yellow, yellow title. title stands out in your eyes. The latest trends all neatly listed in front of you. Pictures of thin models included next to each. You are doubtful that any of these beautiful articles of clothing will look good on you too. Because in your mind, you are not, not. the skinny, carefree model posing in a floral crop top smiling at a camera. You're just the girl in a simple t-shirt, too afraid to try the trends. Because even though that article swears that miniskirt will look good on you too. Your, your mind. mind's full of doubt. The, the next, next page, page is no more entertaining than the last. It features an article titled, How to Love Yourself, as if there's only one way to do so. The general message of the article is that you need to change yourself in order to love yourself. You're, You're beautiful, beautiful, but... The article describes confidence as easy to achieve as learning to ride a bike when really you know it's about as easy as squeezing a, a size, size 12 body into a size, size zero jeans. These flimsy pieces of paper are held together by unspoken rules and guidelines to manage your every day. They pick what you wear and what you eat. They decide what you say. They teach you lies about how to conform. Except, Except today you close the magazine and decide to forget, forget all, all the silly things, things you read and saw. <laughs> Woo!